challenge of the day number 166. And for this one, we're going to do a bunch of sixes. It's been a little while since I've done that, so it's once you get to a really high number, it's kind of hard to even think about what you're going to do with that, but ultimately, I worked it out. We're going to be doing some six doubles today, specifically doing kind of an offset of something we've done quite a few times before in different ways, which is the overlapping hexachords sequence. Anyway, we're in B-flat harmonic minor today, and here's how it goes. All right, so what we're basically doing uh, is overlapping hexachords, but we're starting on what would have been the last note of a phrase that didn't really happen, all right? So here's the idea, all right? So when we do the overlapping hexachords, a hexachord, again, being a six-note scale fragment, we're just going to go six notes at a time. And then while I'm still on that string, I'm going to grab those three, three notes I just played and play them as part of the next hexachord over. So I'm just kind of overlapping some of the same notes in one hexachord and then the next, and it's a way to just get more mileage out of my scale. But even that, as cool as I think it is, it's very easy to just overdo that and just always start at the highest note if you're descending and always start at the lowest note if you're ascending. So this time what I kind of did is I actually started on the lowest note of this string, almost as if I had played an imaginary hexachord before it, like... And I'm kind of just prefacing the whole pattern with this one extra note, the lowest note on that string, as if I had played another hexachord. So this is why I'm calling it offset overlapping hexachords, because it's kind of as if I'm just starting at one beat earlier, or one note earlier in a melody that I just pretty much cut the rest off and threw it away. All right, so hopefully that makes sense, but basically this is, once you understand what the overlapping hexachords pattern is, you'll be able to see it in here, and that's why I'm going over that. So I'm gonna start on the B flat the root of the scale here. And then I'm going to go to the third on that same string and just descend for six notes. Three, two, one, seven, six, five. While I'm on that string, that is actually the first of the next six though. So that's really one, two, three, four, five, six. The lowest note on the next string is actually the beginning of the next six beat phrase. So it's important to notice that, all right, because that's gonna sort of be the integrity of your phrase right there. It's gonna count on that. So here we are in the next phrase. This is your five of your scale. Five, seven, six, five, four, three. Your next phrase starts on two, four, three, two, one, seven. And your last note is just held for six. All right, so six beats. Six beats, six beats, six, two, three, four, five, six, right there. That's where you go up. And we're just gonna go through the next lower position of the scale. So that started on the root. We're gonna start on the seventh of the harmonic minor scale this time and just do the same basic idea. So that's kind of the idea. All right, so I'll play it all the way through, a little slower than the first time. All right, you give it a try, and I'll see you again tomorrow.